Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to this YouTube channel. So someone addressed a question to me and I'm going to try my best to answer it. This question is a bit tricky because it's about which canton is the best to live in in Switzerland. Why is this question tricky? It's tricky because it depends on your needs. For example, if you're relocating to Switzerland for business, you want to start your own business, you want to be an entrepreneur in Switzerland, then Zug is the canton for you. This is the canton for you because they have so many tax advantages. So you can be able to really thrive as a business owner in the canton of Zug. However, if you're employed, then it might be very costly. You'll still get the tax advantages, yes, but then the housing will be very, very expensive for you. The cost of living in Zug is not cheap. So that is something that you have to consider. However, I'm going to talk about a canton that is very good for those people who are employed and which in this case, in the case of this channel, it's about relocating nurses. So if you're wanting to relocate to Switzerland and you really don't know where to start or where to reside, then this canton is for you. Make sure you watch to the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So this wonderful canton is the canton of Fribourg. The canton of Fribourg is a multilingual canton. Sorry, not multilingual, but bilingual canton. So they speak both German and French. This is very advantageous to you because you're able to learn the two languages. And once you're able to speak the two languages in Switzerland, you can be able to work in the German side if you get tired of Fribourg or in the French side. So this is a very good advantage for foreign nurses. And you'll find that, for example, if you work in the hospitals, they're able to train you in the second language, which is German. And sometimes even Red Cross offers courses at a very affordable cost for those who don't speak French or those who don't speak German. So this is something that is very advantageous. Now, I will start with my first point, which is the cost of living. The cost of living in Fribourg is very advantageous to families, to students, and to single professionals. So you'll find that housing as compared to the neighbors that are Vaux and Bern is way affordable. Health insurance as well is way affordable. So many people with families or those people who are employed prefer to come and reside in the canton of Fribourg. The second point about the canton of Fribourg is the location. So you'll find that it's in the middle of Vaux, Canton of Vaux, and Canton of Bern, which is the capital of Switzerland. Now, for you, if you decide, if, for example, you're speaking German and you say, I want to live in a cheaper place, but work in a place that I get more income, which is also very advantageous for you. The funny thing is, you will always be taxed at the place where you live. So, for example, if you decide that you want to live in the Canton of Fribourg and you want to work in Bern, so you'll get a higher salary in Bern, but then you will be paying taxes according to where you live, which is in Fribourg, which the taxes are lower than Bern. So these are some of the things that you must know before relocating to Switzerland. And the location between Fribourg and Bern is not far. They're very close. So for example, if you rely on public transport, it's only 25 minutes by public transport and also around the same with the private car. So it's a very good thing. You can also decide and go work in Lausanne, work at the Shuv, for example, and still live in Fribourg. And in which case you can decide to take the public transport. And in this case, it will be an hour by public transport or by car as well. So these are some of the things that you should know before relocating. It's not a must that you live in the same canton that you're working in. So this is something that is very advantageous. And you'll find that, for example, for children, child allowance, where you work is where you get your child allowance from. So you'll find, for example, you work in Vo, the child allowance is slightly higher than in Fribourg. So if you decide to go and work at the Shuv, you get higher child allowance you get higher salary, but you live in Fribourg, you're taxed, lower tax from Fribourg. So these are some of the things that are very advantageous about this canton of Fribourg. The third thing is accommodation, housing. You should try go looking for housing in Geneva. Then you will realize 
that Fribourg is very good. So it's easier to find accommodation in Fribourg and it's also cheaper to find accommodation in Fribourg. And you find at least bigger houses or apartments in the canton of Fribourg than you would find in Geneva at also a cheaper price. So this is changing gradually because many people are now relocating to Fribourg because they know of these advantages. And maybe sooner or later, the prices will be exorbitant. But for the moment, it's still cheaper than leaving the cost of housing in Geneva, the cost of housing in Vaud, the cost of housing in Bern. So at least you can know that if you come and live here, you'll be paying well, le well less than the neighbors. The fourth thing is the schools. So Fribourg is known for its excellent public school system. So they teach very well. They, the children here do extra, but after it all, they're very good. You find that most of the neighboring cantons easily um, employ students from Fribourg because they have already gotten used to working, going an extra mile. They are bilingual, most of them. And they're very sharp in terms of arithmetics and things like those. So most of the neighboring cantons employ them easily. This is not to say that the other cantons have poor education systems. No, it's just that Fribourg is known to go an extra mile. So this is something that is very advantageous. Another thing is also that there is the University of Fribourg. And this is a university that offers human medicine, law, economics, arts. It offers so many things. So if you reside in Fribourg, you can as well attend the school there. There are also several other private universities, like I spoke of Glion, which is a hospitality. It's private, but it's a hospitality and management school that is also excellent. So you can find your schooling in Fribourg. You can work in Fribourg, and it's just an excellent place for academics and living. My fifth point is hospital. So Fribourg has a cantonal uh, hospital, the hospital of Fribourg, but it's not the only hospital. And in this hospital, all the services are offered from renal unit to ICU, accident and emergency. But then it has other hospitals on the side that helps it, especially during the day. Here it's called permanence. And so these are hospitals that do take emergencies during the day, but when they find out that these emergencies are beyond their level, then the patients are transferred to this cantonal hospital. So here you'll find um, hospitals like the RIA, Muchten, and uh, several others. There are also other private hospitals, so you cannot lack a place to work if you want to live in this canton. You will have choices of where to work. And apart from also these hospitals, there are also old people's homes. There's also a network of home-based care. So it's an excellent place for nurses as well. So my sixth point is the public transport. You'll find that public transport is excellent. From excellent train connections to buses. And really, if you live in a place that is not so far away, you don't need a car. You can really rely on the public transport and it's excellent clean on time and once in a while they're not on time for example when it's snowing heavily or when they have an incident like someone threw themselves on the train track or things like those uh, that you don't like hearing about but in general the public transport is excellent even children from the age of four years get into this public transport and everything is smooth the security the cleanliness the timeliness is just to another level so these are things that also make it very attractive as a canton my seventh point are the taxes so the taxes as i'd mentioned uh, before are way lower than the taxes in the neighboring countries uh, cantons sorry so you'll find that the neighboring cantons of Vo and Bern have taxes slightly higher than uh, the canton of Fribourg. And this is cantonal taxes because there's also federal taxes, which that one is just, you can't say is higher or not, but the cantonal taxes and communal taxes is what I'm talking about. So yes, this is why it is more advantageous than the neighboring cantons. So anyone who is planning to re relocate to Switzerland, I highly recommend this canton for you. But then there are those who really love the big, big cities. Fribourg is a big city, but it's, it's not as big as Zurich. It's not as big as Lausanne. 
uh, maybe close to Lausanne, but it's not as big as Lausanne yet. So if you prefer the bigger cities, you prefer Zurich, you prefer Geneva, you prefer those big cities, you can always look for the cantons that are closer to them or the communes that are closer to them that are not so expensive. For example, if you like Bern, you can at least look at uh, Biel or Bien that is less costly than Bern. Or Zurich, you can look at Sagalen, which is a little bit less expensive than Zurich. So these are some of the things that you just have to take your time and do your homework before you relocate to Switzerland. So thank you very much for watching to the end and see you in my next video. Ciao!